day has finally come. I've been in this house 20 years now and a lot of work being a big old Victorian house and one thing that never got done to an extent I wanted to get done was the garden. I spent the last three months in lockdown, same as everybody else, sorting through the house, sorting through things. Um, in my case, packing things ready to go to the Philippines, other things that are going to stay in this house here. And, um, but one of the big projects was the garden. And um, it's finally complete after three months of lockdown. And uh, the loosening of the lockdown now means obviously uh, it was time to get it all finished quickly. And um, it's ready. So it's gone from being like this. <laughs> So we start off by taking a walk down the steps, which again were built by myself and my stepfather many years ago, onto the new lawn. And you will notice maybe that the lawn looks very green and clean. It's actually astral turf. Best way, easy maintenance when I'm away. So we walk down through the garden underneath the banana plants, which all started off from one plant that I bought many years ago and now have been cut and divided and grow and grow. The sheds I built myself also, and uh, obviously we like the colour scheme, I like the colour scheme with the purple and the grey. And the bananas are getting bigger and bigger, and then in front of us we've got the um, courgette patch. And uh, some palms in the corner to give it more of an international feel, and the courgettes coming on nicely. Two more transplanted bananas there in front of us. And um, the bananas now are probably about um, 12, 15 feet tall, which is quite impressive for the UK, I think. And there we have a close up the courgettes, the growing, some in the pots, some in the ground. Everything covered with ground cover again for low and easy maintenance. And we've got some broad beans growing and they're coming nicely, now coming on nicely. They'll be available to eat probably in the next few weeks. So, and there's some beans there growing, but not so well. I've got rhubarb on the left, some fruit on the left as well, back up through the garden, dahlias and, and flowers on the right-hand border, um, <clears throat> stepping stones and red bark at the top. Looking back down to the garden from the, from the top. Nice view to look at when you sit on the veranda. New fence I worked, put as well, so back up the steps and um, to the veranda patio area and uh, there we have it all the flags here are from countries that uh, some of the countries I've visited the main one there in the back being the Philippines of course uh, dahlias grow on the right tomatoes on the left and the old barbecue it's undercover which is all weather which is great some of the uh, southern type European geraniums training geraniums uh, gives everything a real sort of nice continental international feel. So then we're looking back down the garden. And of course then there's the evening. And the evening is a good place to be, as you will see.